Richie and Damo from Wilderness are on the show. Um, good to see you guys. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having us, Ben. It's great. Yeah. Thanks. Cool. Thanks. So we got the new album coming out, but I wouldn't mind going back to uh, the beginning because you guys played in a whole bunch of bands before this thing kicked off, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Do you, you, do you yeah. want to go down well? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it, it's a long, long story. It's like, <laughs> like back in 96 era. Was yeah. It yeah. Um, I was just finishing high school. And I was in a band with a particularly stupid name. Peanut, but um, yeah. and we were pretty successful for what we were doing. Like yeah, we had like two gigs, and then we were in the Battle of the Bands, Ballarat, and then we won in Melbourne. Oh. It was crazy, you know, for a 16, 17 year old to go through that shit. But uh, one of the Battle of the Bands, I just finished playing, and uh, just got approached by this dude with this massive fucking curly mane, like a. Why well, just nattering his fucking lips off at me? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, who the fuck is this dude? And then uh, it just all started from there. We we ended up, I ended up joining his band without a reason. And then, um, yeah. Christ, I let Richie go from there. I think. <laughs> <laughs> and then it gets blurry after that. Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So without a reason or war. So we'd been we've been playing since about well we were jamming in '93 and started gigging in '94. So, um, you know, and there was um, that was like the damaged era of Ballarat music and all that sort of stuff. So we were just really lucky to be exposed to so much heavy music and have like the support of the community and stuff there, like the Bridge Mall Inn, the Bridgie, just an amazing yeah. pub. It you know it, it had that same kind of. Like I see what's happening with the tote and last chance at the moment, and I sort of think, oh, wouldn't it have been amazing to keep something like that going with the bridgey? And um, actually, another guy was saying that about the art house too. Anyway, mm. I, yeah. I, I could rattle on about all the amazing lost venues, but yeah. yeah so anyway, so we we peaked, I guess, uh, on a late nineties, early two thousands. We recorded a full length album, like we had. Like, three tapes and two seven inch vinyls and that sort of stuff and that was back when it was still just kind of normal to do that you know um but yeah we recorded a full length and sort of things like it really it imploded rather than exploded but it was kind of over um and yeah damo went and did his thing and i went and did my thing and and it was the power of the iomi riff that brought us back together <laughs> for, for down the river church. Really. Uh, the church of iomi yeah, I almost brought us back together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And so yeah, it's yeah. been a crazy ride since. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Cool. And we were very lucky because that, that that's that band was Down River, and at the end of Down River, we'd made a you know sort of. I mean, we already knew a heap of people, but this time around, we had you know like more contacts, gigging contacts, and stuff. So, I, I think we were very fortunate to have so much momentum going into wilderness. Um, you know, because it's good to have experience in this and that and everything else, but we also had momentum and that was, that's why the first album still for a lot of people is like, like sort of the benchmark, if you like. Um, it's, but I mean, people say that about a lot of bands, I guess. Um, yeah, but that was 2012. So it's like 11 years later and we're releasing, I think probably at least sonically and in terms of like the narrative and the story it's telling and the kind of structures that, you know, the like first the uh, riffs that Damo's put together and, and then the structures that I've tried to add to them, I think it's an amazing bookend to that very first album. Like yeah. the stuff in between is great, but uh, for me this really, it kind of closes a circle, if you like, not in a bad way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So April 30th, no, yeah, the album On the Earth Under the Sky. <laughs> um, so it's reworked songs from the 2021 album and, and new ones as well, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shall I go, Damo? Do you want to go in? Well, I, I guess I... Because I recall that <laughs> uh, happening, um, uh, we recorded stuff. You know, we're in the middle of recording stuff, I think, and then the pandemic happened. Um, and I was doing a lot of stuff in my place, as as in mixing and uh, recording. Um, and then there was a huge, yeah, it's a huge break in between that, and we just can't. We had to, we managed to come back to it. Throughout that, like through technology, it's a wonderful thing. Look at us here oh. talking to each other on screen. It's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's 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 the only reason that uh, most of this album, you know, managed to see the light was through the internet. Yeah. 
it's crazy. Yeah, man. But, yeah, so we, we, we thought we'd do justice to these old songs that we kind of released in 21, 20, uh, 22, is it? Richie. Oh, I can't remember. 20, yeah, yeah, one of them. Yeah, some of them. But yeah, <laughs> we, we kind of want to do it justice. Not to say that they weren't, they were terrible. I mean, they, were, they, were, they were expertly crafted by one of our friends, Jared Kirby. But we, we thought I'd give it justice, and it's just been polished perfectly. I couldn't, mm. I couldn't yeah. describe it any better than that. It's just like, it's the ultimate. I think it's. I, yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I think it's like what's what makes them so different, though. It's not just a different spit and shine. Like we actually retracked a whole heap of stuff for it. So, yeah. um, rhythm guitars were already great, um, yeah. and the like. The drum capture was okay, but we, you know, I was relying on the sort of that room mic sound, and we needed more transients and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, um, it was learning but, curve. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right. So we re yeah, and heaps of vocals got retracked, and yeah, so yeah. yeah, as Damo says, the first one was awesome and it really served its purpose, but. This one, yeah, this. And to answer your original question, Ben, yes, there's that, but the, the first, we th sort of think of it as side A and side B. Side A, which is, you know, five songs and 40 minutes in itself, that's kind of, all, well, not kind of, that's all new stuff. That's completely new. Tra we tracked it again. Oh, well, for the, yeah, blah, blah, blah. New. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. New stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, you got... Dav Byrne uh, doing the mastering and stuff. It, it, yeah. How do you know Dav? Like, have you worked with him before? Or? Yeah, we have known uh, me, myself, and Richie have known Dave for quite so many years. Like, oh, I, I work with him. Um, and he's such a good dude, and he's got an incredible craft in the way he does things. It's just, you know, it's, it's a different approach. I'm not saying anything about it, so it's secret safe, but he's uh he's he's pretty incredible. You know, he's done a lot of amazing work. And we've previously worked with him, but it was kind of a it was a rush job, so it wasn't done justice to on both parts. So like it was good to work with him again. Huh. And um, well we've known him since what well, I think Terrorist days, which he I think. Mm. Uh, yeah, back in the day with Matt Sanders and um, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Um, and there's a couple of videos out already. You got the uh, the under oak video with just kind of like nature organisms thing going on. It's um, that intro is a bit Pink Floyd. Was cool. Like, is that what sort of what you were going for? Do you reckon? Or? Yeah, I'll, I'll that, um, yeah, flattered. I'm flattered as hell. Like, I, I yeah, mm. I guess for me, I was just sort of thinking broadly. Yeah, you know, that that era. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure, sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, 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 I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. It was um, kind of packed on, uh, like, uh, we just added to the song. We just decided to keep that in. Oh. The way it's turned out is crazy. And, That's um, why it fades out, because otherwise we yeah. would have kept playing yeah. that chorus <laughs> riff. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, yeah. That, the yeah. YouTube channel, um, Weedian, uh, they played it. It was great. They just played that. Clip like solid for forty five minutes, and oh, the comments nice. under it were hilarious. <laughs> Obviously, people up late at night who'd enjoyed, you know, a, a bit of time with Mary Jane or whatever. And yeah, it was yeah. so <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. Combustible yeah. Uh, refreshments, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, cool. yeah. So, but I, I, I was I'm behind the, the the video work for all that stuff, and it took it took it was a lot of work and a lot of love, and it, it's passion that we. Uh, you know, equally shown is what we put in the music, I guess. You know, so yeah, there's a lot going on, but I, I, the the content's jarring, and we and I'm not going to just sit here and make a nice film clip. You know, it's got to be a bit intense. You know, it kind of wake you up a little bit. You know, so yeah. Oh. yeah. Mm. Um, because yeah, you got the other video for Mouth of the River with the sort of overlays going on and stuff. Yeah. Is that um, is that a live recording? Are the two of you on the? It looks like you're on a stage setup or something. Uh, the well, it's <laughs> no, not really. We we no. we're Abbott and Costello in the moment, oh, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> miming it, and uh, and I've mixed it all in, obviously, kind of yeah. blended it together to create a I don't know chaotic scenario. <laughs> no, it's good, and it's a kind oh, of thing, oh. you know. It's like that's one thing I think Damo touched on. Like we we still really have that really old school basically punk ethic it's like do what you can mm. yourself get your well, friends to do it if they can yeah. all that sort of stuff and well, like they to me they just feed perfectly into that and 
and it, it kind of highlights their creativity that you know like Damo had to put into it thinking that well we're there trying to make it look live but there's only two of us and there's five instruments going yeah, you know yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. no, that's cool. so you talked just talking about the videos um did you do the mechanisms of manipulation video as well yeah, that's good fun, man. All those like <laughs> you know, blink and you'll miss it things like pissing uh, in the forest and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> bit of fun, bit of yeah, fun. Yeah, I just I just bought an iPad and I was experimenting, and um, it's just so I happened I could create one, and I just said, uh, you know, enough of the seriousness. You know, that's a bit of a joke, you know, but hmm. the music's serious enough, but you know, the content of the video. Is... Well, it tell mechanisms in particular tells a particular <laughs> story. Of... It does. Of, um, vehicular vehicular incidents amongst yeah, yeah. the members of Wilderson's. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, it's based on true life events. Yeah, yeah. There you go. But you have to put it together yourself from there. But the yeah. white jackaroo was me, and the red fell. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, cool. After watching, yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. And um, yeah, back to the mouth of the river thing. I was talking about, you know, it looked like you guys were playing live. Um, I've watched live footage with the whole band as as well, but um, it's, so it's just the two of you at the moment, hey? Yeah, throughout this kind of choice. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, it's kind of the other guys we love them to death. It's they're busy. We they're, yeah. everyone has lives, you know. We're not yeah. expecting to just stop them to whatever because you know, it's. Sometimes it's a little reward for the art that you create. You know, it's a lot. You feel like you put too much energy into it. And you can see little back, but you know, it's we're open to the idea. You know, that it's just yeah, it's a drummer. <laughs> that's, that's what we're after. That's simple. I, that's the, simple we can find plans. a bass player, but um, it's kind of. I think it's like the curse of being like a, a recording duo. Like we start. Wilderness was a recording duo. It oh. was never. We never actually thought it would do what it did, no. Um, no, which was, you know, for me, it was certainly the most, you know, I guess, quote unquote, successful band that I've been in. So for me, it was a real buzz. Oh. Um, but yeah, you, you, yeah. So, sorry, I lost my train of thought on that because I was like, oh yeah, I really, really enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, there it is. So yeah, dr- really, it's the finding a drummer. You know, it's the curse of us as a duo. We can do it. We can get by, and but we've got to create. You know, like Damo, Damo will explode, like literally combust into flames if he's not allowed to create. You know, so he needs to have those outlets and that sort of oh. stuff. And uh-huh. and I love it. I just sit here and just giggle as I listen to the demos and we start putting them together. And oh. I play drum, you know, play the opposite drum beat to what he put on his demo, but <laughs> <laughs> it all yeah. works out. Yeah. That was in the end. Yeah. yeah. Um, would you guys think about playing with like drum backing track or do you, you'd rather have oh. that sort of jammy real thing going on? I would possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it'd be you'd have to jazz it up like make it psychedelic AF, you know, like oh. project. Yeah, like a Godflesh type stuff. thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Consider it. Yeah, you know? uh, cool. We're getting hard to blame, yeah, you know, if we fuck up, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just turn around and start kicking the speaker. <laughs> yeah. Grab yourself a fucking thing. What are you doing? Yeah, Who right. set these fucking things up? Yeah. It must be a tech issue, right? Like, it's not. Yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, the album comes out 30th of April. Um, What's the plan after that? Any more videos or are you guys, you know, writing for anything? Yeah, yeah. So we've got two more videos that Damo's already, they're, they're done. We're just doing that whole adult thing of trying to spread, you know, yeah, spread yeah. the joy out a bit longer. Yeah, so, yeah, cool. we've got um, we've got a really awesome one that I reckon he's outdone himself with is for the title track on the Earth Under the Sky. So, mm-hmm. again, another, like another single, but it's nine minute song, you know. Okay. Uh, but it's. It's, you know, sort of lyrically at least kind of the corner piece of what that, or the story that album's telling, you know. So, um, yeah, the, the clip looks amazing. And he's redone a couple of the older ones that we've reworked as well. So not only have we reworked the songs, you know, and redone the whole thing, we've actually reworked the videos that go with them. So oh, cool. yeah. that's dedication. That's yeah. like Halford-style penny-pinching dedication. <laughs> <laughs> the craft, um, you know. You gotta do. Yeah. Oh, that's good, man. That's cool. Awesome. Yeah, I, I particularly dig um the longest night. That track on there is like, oh, just that organ yeah. and everything. It's cool, you know. But, yeah. Thank you very much because we yeah. both have agonised about that song for a while, and, and 
the sense. We did record it and with previously with Dave, and now we, we reworked it, and then it just came out. It's just so heavy. Like I created that riff and went, oh my god, with that. Thanks, Mormon Angel. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's it's about homage and respect. But it it just yeah, I, we we both love that song that, mm. in its form now. So thank yeah. you. And that's yeah, the way it is now, yeah, like that's yeah, real compliment. Thank mm. you. The, the, the way it is now is also to me, it's really interesting because it demonstrates the importance of having Dave Byrne on board, like almost as a you know, that sort of sideline member shouting things from the wings. And sometimes yeah. you listen to him, sometimes you don't, you know. But, yeah. but he actually took to that with um, with the digital scissors and he restructured the middle of it. So not only, so this is like the third time you've got of it. So it's actually, it's a subtle change, but it just tightens the sign up a little bit more. Yeah. So, yeah, like, but that's cool. Like, that's the first time, I mean, you know, Damo and I work really, really collaboratively, and we did a lot with Hoffy and Tom too when they were in the band, but I, I'm always a bit standoffish. I think, no, nah, I think, you know, just back down you look we've got this covered you know yeah, uh, it's a lot when you accept someone else to come in and say well how about we lose 20 seconds from here or you know, whatever so yeah, yeah. Mm. so it's a sign of respect yeah. mutual respect for benefit <laughs> beautiful yeah <laughs> excellent cool um awesome well look um, i'm looking forward to you know seeing these other videos their album's great i've, I've had a listen it's good stuff and uh <laughs> hopefully you guys can hit the stage in one form or other soon yeah Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully it's not just like stage four dementia. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to have live medics uh, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, on stage, you know. That's <laughs> 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 uh, thanks for putting up with uh, us. Uh, yeah. uh, thanks for coming on, guys, this week. That's been good. Cheers. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you, cool. Oh, well, hopefully you can um, make your way over here at some point, eh? But... Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. I've got well now. I've got you, and I've got a, a mate I used to homebrew with a bit too. He play, used to play in Stone Lotus, and he's now like the head brewer up in Calberry. And I'm like, oh, I've got to get out of there. Imagine oh, that Imagine brewing beer yeah. in Calberry is a job. Yeah, I mean, oh. are you joking Believe me? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. I might have to get in on that as well. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah, cool. All right, have a good one, guys. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks.